integration is area under a curve. So if I've got a curve here between A and B, if I integrate that curve, so if I integrate the equation of the line fx between A and B, that gives me that area bounded between the x-axis, the curve, and the lines x equals A and x equals B. The problem is, if my curve goes through the x-axis, the things underneath the x-axis will give me a negative answer. So the integral will be negative, but obviously the area has got to be positive. So you've got to watch out for it when it crosses through the x-axis. When the curve crosses the x-axis, we have to split the integration into two parts. An example, find the area enclosed by y equals x squared plus 3 and the lines x equals 2, x equals 3 and the x-axis. So that's just, as the picture shows, this area here between 2 and 3 in the curve. So all we're doing is we're integrating x squared plus 3 between 2 and 3 in terms of x. Add 1 to the power divided by the new power gives us x cubed over 3 plus 3x. That's between 2 and 3. So that gives us 27 divided by 3, 9 plus 9 minus 8 over 3 plus 6. 18 minus 26 over 3. 18 is the same as 54 over 3. 54 over 3 minus 26 over 3 is going to be 28 over 3. Another example, find the area between y equals x squared minus 1 and the x-axis between x equals 0 x equals 2. Worth doing a quick sketch on this one and you spot straight away that you're going to have to cross the axes. So we're trying to find this area here. Remember that if you just integrate it between 0 and 2, the negative between the 0 and 1 is going to cancel with some part of that positive and you're not going to get a true answer. So you're going to have to split the integration into the integral of x squared minus 1 between 0 and 1 and between 1 and 2. That gives you x cubed over 3 minus x between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2. So that gives you a third minus 1 minus 0 and 8 thirds minus 2 minus a third minus 1. So you get minus 2 thirds from that first integral and you get 2 thirds minus minus 2 thirds from that second integral which is 4 thirds. So the area under the curve is going to be 2 thirds. We've made that negative value positive because now it's representing an area. So it's 2 thirds plus 4 thirds. So the total area is 2. Thank you.